just about to start my workout for today. As you can see, I am using my dip bar today, but don't go anywhere. You do not need a dip bar to do this workout right along with me. I'm only using my dip bar for the first little combo, and I'm going to show you an equipment-free alternative right now. So you do not need any exercise equipment whatsoever to follow right along with this video. The only other thing that you will probably likely need is an exercise mat. I'm using my jump rope mat. Um, but a yoga mat is fine or one of those thicker exercise mats is fine. If you don't have an exercise mat, you can use a towel. You're just going to need something that you can lie down on comfortably because we will be doing a little bit of ab work on the mat. So this format is going to be very simple, very straightforward. We have five short little combos and we are going to be doing 25 sets of each combo and that's it. That's the workout. So let me walk you through each of the combos before we start so that you know what we're doing. Um, so the first combo, I will be using my dip bar. Let me show you what I'm doing first with my dip bar and then I will show you some alternatives if you don't have a piece of equipment like this. It's a very simple little combo. I'm gonna come down and put my hands on the mat, jump my feet back so that I'm in a plank position. I'm gonna have my feet together. Now I'm gonna jump my feet back in towards my chest like this and then I'm gonna jump them back out into a plank again, like that. And then I'm gonna do a plank jack. So starting with the feet together, I'm gonna to jump the feet out and then in. Now jump the feet back in again and stand. And now I'm using my dip bar to do a knee raise. So um, this dip bar is from Ultimate Body Press, but you can find pieces of equipment like this there's lots of different brands. There's ones that are similar to this, but they're two pieces. Um, there's an Amazon branded one, if I remember correctly. So you can get one of these for a reasonable amount of money, I think. Uh, and if you plan on following my workouts regularly, it is a piece of equipment I recommend having because I use it frequently. Um, also, make sure you check sites like OfferUp or Craigslist. Um, a lot of times people sell workout equipment very, very cheap. You can also search one of those sites for an old walker, um, the old kind of walker that looks kind of like this. I have searched before for those just to see what's out there, and I immediately found a walker on offer for like 10 bucks. So that would also be a great investment as a piece of workout commitment. Um, the other thing you can do is if you don't have something similar to this, but you have a pull-up bar or you have access to a pull-up bar, you can do a hanging knee raise. So you would come down, put your hands on the mat, jump the feet back, do your plank jump, plank jump, and stand. Grab your pull-up bar, hang from the pull-up bar, so lift your feet off the ground, hang from the pull-up bar, and do a hanging knee raise. So bring your knees to your chest from a hanging position. That would be um, another great alternative. If you don't own a pull-up bar, not that expensive. The one I have, I bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond for like a, a 30 bucks, like 100 years ago. Uh, minus 20%, of course. But I really don't use it anymore because I used to do the workouts in my living room and now I'm always doing them out here and I don't have anywhere to put it out here. It's one of those ones that you put right on the doorway, on the, the door frame. Um, they're very convenient, very easy, small, very easy to store, and they're inexpensive. So um, again, you could find those probably on Amazon um, or anywhere really. Um, it's a great investment. Or um, you can always take this workout to the park. There is a park within walking distance of me that has pull-up bars of varying heights. So that's another great option. Um, but let me show you an equipment-free alternative just in case none of that's gonna work for you. Very simple. Here's what you can do if you have no equipment. The first part of the combo will be the same. Hands down on the mat, jump the feet back. Now do your plank jump. So feet jump in and back out. Plank jack, feet out and in. Jump the feet in again towards your chest and stand. You know what, I just realized that I skipped part of the combo when I demonstrated it on my dip bar, but I don't wanna go back and reshoot that whole thing. It's such a simple fix. So um, let me show you, the entire combo on my dip bar is actually this. So your plank, jump, plank jack, then stand. And then before we do the knee raise, I'm gonna do two jumping jacks. So feet out, in, out, in. And I always do, I always alternate my arms on my jumping jack, lifting them to the side and lifting them to the front. Totally optional, you can do whatever you want with your arms. And then I'm gonna do my knee raise, okay? So if you don't have a piece of equipment that you can use to do a knee raise, then here's what you can do. 
hands come down, jump the feet out. Now do your plank jump, plank jump, now stamp. And now you can do your jumping jacks the same and just eliminate the ab component, or you can add a standing ab component. So here's what I would recommend. Um, so again, the first half of the combo starts the same, jump the feet out, plank jack, or plank jump, plank jump, and now stamp. I would do these prisoner jacks with an oblique knee twist like this. So when I say prisoner, this is what I'm talking about. Clasp your hands together like this behind your neck. And now you can jump your feet out, in, out, and then do an oblique knee twist. And then just repeat that part on the other side. So feet in, out, oblique knee twist. Okay, so that way you're doing the jumping jacks and adding a standing out component at the same time. So put all together, this is what your equipment free modification is gonna look like. Hands come down, plank, plank jump, plank jack, jump the feet in, stamp. Hands behind the head, jump the feet out. Now in, out, oblique knee twist, in, out, oblique knee twist. One time, one more time a little faster so you can see the flow of it. down on to the mat into a plank position with my feet to one side of the mat. Okay, so I'm in my plank, I'm going to bring my feet to one side of the mat. And from here, I'm just going to keep my feet together and jump my feet from one side of the mat to the other like that. Okay, I'm going to do that five times. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Um, you could also do bunny hops. It's basically the same thing but instead of keeping your legs more or less straight, uh, you're gonna bend your knees more and focus on uh, doing a higher jump. So if you wanna have like an obstacle or something to jump over, that's fine. That's another option though. So bunny hop, I would start with my hips lifted and jump up and over, two, three, four, five. That's another option if you prefer, or if you find those more comfortable for whatever reason. But I'm gonna be doing them with my legs straight from a plank position like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now from here, I'm gonna bring my feet together so that there's one foot on either side of my mat. I'm gonna stand and I'm gonna do a squat jump. So squat down and jump up. That's the combo. So again, remember with your squats that your shoulders are backing down. Chest is lifted high, nice, strong, tight, engaged core, back stays straight. Push your booty back like you're trying to touch the wall behind you with your booty, and then that's gonna keep your weight in your heels as you sink down into your squat. Sink as low as you can. Um, so if you can't sink really super low, that's fine. Do your best to maybe try to at least get your thighs like parallel to the ground, but work to your own level, okay? So if this is your range of motion on the squat, that's fine. Just do your best. Um, and then for the jump up, if you can't jump, then you can just do an air squat or you could maybe come up on your toes. Okay, but that's the combo. It's already equipment free. So um, let me put it together a little faster so you see it in real time. So feet to one side of the mat and bunny hops or plank hops. One, two, three, four, five. And now stand, squat and jump up. Third combo, um, it's going to be high knees, drop down, roll over, knee hug. Okay, so high knees and knee hugs. Um, so high knees, meaning that I'm going to be driving my knee up towards my chest as high as I can. And um, each time you drive the knee up counts as one rep. So you'll count like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After your 10th high knee, you're gonna come down on the mat. So you're gonna drop down. So hands come down, jump the feet back, and then you're gonna drop uh, all the way down onto the mat, onto your belly. From here, you'll roll over. So you're in the center of your mat. Do one knee hug. So hug the knees into the chest, and then extend the arms and legs again. Continue 
this way. So you'll continue rolling over this way so that you're ending up on the other side of your mat. And now jump the feet in and stand. That's uh, one set of this little combo. Um, so then you'll just pick it up from here. So now I'm on the other side of my mat. I'm gonna do another 10 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop down all the way to the belly. Roll over. Knee hug. Roll over to the other side of the mat and stand. That's the combo. Combo number four. We're doing kick ups and scorpion push ups. If you can't do scorpion push ups or if they're awkward, you can do another style of push ups, but basically the combo is kick ups, push ups. Okay? So I'm going to come down on my mat. Um, and I'm gonna be up in this kind of reverse bridge position. It does not matter if your hands are facing this way or this way, whatever is more comfortable for you. I guess if you're comfortable doing it that way, do it that way. Um, I think I usually have my hands facing like this. So that's how I'll be doing it. But whatever's more comfortable for you, you know we're doing 10 kickups and each kickup counts as one rep. So I'm gonna lift one leg and then I'm gonna jump and switch the, the feet. So now the other foot is down and now this foot is lifted. That's one rep and that's my second rep. So you count to 10 like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm going to go right into my scorpion push-up. So um, we're getting there. I'm kind of combining a breakdance push-up and a scorpion push-up um, because it just makes sense to transition that way to the push-up. So I'm here, this leg is lifted up after I have finished my 10th kick up, right? So now I'm gonna take this leg that's elevated. I'm gonna put the foot underneath the knee um, of this other leg, okay? And then I'm gonna lift the opposite hand and bring it around like this. So I'm in a plank position with one leg elevated. Now, if you wanna just do a regular breakdance push-up, Great, just do a, a one leg push up from this position, or you can put the foot down and do a regular push up. Like I said, any push up variation will work. I'm gonna be doing scorpion push ups. So that means that we're here. I'm gonna continue the motion so that this leg is, um, the foot is kind of on to approaching the elbow on this opposite side. That would be my goal. I'm not flexible enough to do that, but that's what you kind of want to think of, okay? And then I'll be doing the push-up from that position. So my foot's over here, push-up, and then reverse the movement. So now the foot comes back, lift the hand, and return to your starting position like this. The only thing that's a little tricky is remembering which foot to start your kickups on so that you end up in a position uh, after your 10th rep that you can smoothly transition into your Scorpio push-up or your breakdance push-up because we want to alternate sides with the push-ups. So I was just in this position, right? And I came around. This hand just finished traveling. So I want to remember that whatever hand just finished going up and over and then back, that is the foot that I want to lift to start my next set of 10 kickups. Okay, so now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that means I'm gonna start now uh, with start the motion to do my Scorpio push up in the opposite direction. So this foot's elevated. I'm gonna put the foot under the uh, knee of my other leg. I'm gonna come around so that I'm in a one leg plank, continue the motion with this foot so that it's on the other side of my body, do my push up from this position, and now reverse the movement. So now, foot comes back under. This hand is traveling, so that means that this foot is going to be lifted to begin the next set of 10 kickups. Make sense? It's a small detail, but it's gonna help everything flow a lot better, but don't stress about it. Just do your best to make sure that you're alternating sides on your push-up, um, regardless of what push-up variation you're going to do. If you're going to get there the way I'm getting there, 
by doing that kind of break dance, what I call a break dance push up, where you're putting your leg underneath your knee and spinning over. Um, you just want to make sure you're alternating. All right, last combo. We are doing mountain climbers and then a duck under with a side kick. So, mountain climbers, don't ask me why, but I double count my mountain climbers. So I count each two steps as one rep. So you're gonna come, let me show you just the mountain climbers first. Hands down, you're gonna come into a plank position and then bring one foot forward, okay? So this is your starting position. Now I'm gonna jump and switch the position of my feet. So I'm gonna jump this foot out while jumping this foot in so that I'm in the same position, but with the opposite foot forward, okay? And then I'm going to um, do that again so that I return to my starting position and I count that as one rep. So I count like this, one, two, three, four, okay? So if you count each step as one rep, then you're gonna to wanna to count to 20 because we're doing 10 reps of those, okay? So 10 mountain climbers, then you're going to stand. So stand, and then I'll show you the second half of the combo. It's gonna be a duck under and a side kick. You're gonna do that twice. So imagine you have an obstacle here and you need to duck under it. So I'm starting to one side of my space. And then I'm going to, again, shoulders back and down, chest lifted high, strong, tight, engaged core, push the booty back, keeping the weight in the heels. It's the same principle as our squat earlier. I'm going to step wide to the other end of my mat while I'm ducking under my imaginary obstacle, okay? so. Push the booty back, keep the weight of the heels, chest lifted high, duck under your obstacle. And now I'm gonna do a side kick back in the direction I just came. So I'm gonna lift this leg and I'm gonna kick. I'm not just lifting the leg to the side. If you wanna do that, that's fine, it's not wrong, but it's not the exercise that I'm doing today. What I'm doing today is a side kick, the way I learned it 100 years ago in Taekwondo. So we were taught to bring the knee up, and then kick out. So you wanna kick out with power, out, bring the knee back and put it down, okay? Um, you are striking this imaginary object over here with your heel. So pull the toes back. So I don't wanna have my foot kind of pointed like that, but I wanna have my toes pulled back and kind of down so that my heel is higher than my toes as I'm doing the kick, okay? So your kick looks like this, knee up, strike with the heel, toes down, back and down. And then we're just gonna do one more duck under, moving the opposite direction. So duck under, side kick with power, okay? Make sure that kick has serious power. That's it, that's the combo. So let's put it all together. 10 mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Stand. Duck under, side kick. Duck under, side kick. That's the combo. So that's all five combos. We're going to be doing 25 sets of each combo. We'll finish all 25 sets of one before we move to the next one on the list. And that's it. So now that you know what we're doing, if you have a dip bar or something similar that you can use, um, a pull-up bar or a walker, go ahead and grab that. Definitely wanna make sure you have um, an exercise mat or a yoga mat or a towel, something that you can lie down uncomfortably. Take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up, and when you're ready, let's go. So starting with our first combo, and remember I demonstrated it incorrectly during the intro. So one more time real quick since now I've got my dip bar here. This is the first combo, remember? Jump the feet in, plank jet. And now jumping jack, two reps of jumping jacks before doing the knee raise. Okay, that's combo number one. All right, 25 sets. Uh, okay, watch is going, stop, watch is going, here we go.
forgot my jumping jacks. <laughs> it's all right, I'll do them after the knee raise. Yeah, that was five. especially jump rope, but I thought they'd be okay for this. I even pinned them together so they'd be a little bit more snug, but they're still falling down. It's just the way they are. All right. Uh, I'm gonna just do like three more little sets of five to get myself to 25. So here we go. combos is a little bit of it's a, a cardio exercise with a little bit of like one rep of a strength training exercise thrown in to break it up so it's actually a little cardio so I'm going to take little breaks I'm going to start my next set of five I'm just like so determined to skip that those jumping jacks my brain just doesn't want to do them and it's because usually when I do a dip station combo I don't know usually like if I do knee raise burpees it's I'm just used to as soon as I get up going into that knee raise I don't know got like a mental block against doing these jumping jacks for some reason all right last five sets and then we're moving on to our next combo.
workout clothes. I think I have precious few items of clothing that actually stay put during the course of an entire workout. I don't have to keep stopping to adjust and pull things up and pull things down. But if I only wore those uh, articles of clothing, then uh, I don't know. Every, that's all I would, I would have to do laundry like every day, I think. Um, okay, so next combo is our plank hops over the mat, or you can do bunny hops. So five reps of plank hops, um, remembering to start. I don't, I don't think I mentioned that when I demonstrated it, but so starting to this side and then jumping. One, two, three, four, five. Now you can bring the foot in, do my squat jump. That's set one. Now for set number two, I wanna make sure that I bring the foot back where it was before my squat so that I'm starting the other side of the mat for the second set. And then jumping one, two, three, four, five before coming up for my squat jump. And then again, this foot just came from here. I wanna put it back to where I left off. And then set number three, jump one, two, three, five, squat and jump. And now starting on this side again for the next set. One, two, three, five, squat and jump. So that's my first four sets, I'm counting those. So continuing on, we're going to, uh, was that four or five? I, don't know. I think that was uh, four, I don't know. <laughs> Should I just start over? I lost track where I was. All right, I know I've done at least three. I'm gonna say that was three, and I'm gonna pick it up from there, okay? Just to make sure that uh, I'm not shorting myself. I'd rather do one or two more reps than I'm supposed to than not enough. So I'm gonna say this is rep number three. I'm gonna stop talking so I can get through these and we're going to 25, here we go. So that was set number 10 for me. Possibly it was actually set number 11 or 12, but my official count is 10. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get through another set of 10 without stopping. If not, then I'll break it up five, five, and five, or however I need to, it's fine. But I'm gonna pick it up with rep or set 11 when you're ready. Here we go.
was 19. That's 20. So, I have to do five more sets, but my OCD is going crazy right now because if I do five more sets, then I'll be uneven because it means I will have done 13 sets or 13 on one, 13 sets on one side and 12 sets on the other. So I'll do 26 sets so that I'm even, but then that's going to bother me because everything else is 20, like, is it 25 reps of everything or 26 reps of everything? 25 is a nice round number, you know. Um, so if you don't have OCD, then go ahead and do five more sets or six or whatever you want. And, uh, you know, go on with your life. If you have OCD like me, I apologize. This is quite a pickle, but I think I'm just gonna do six sets. I think I'd rather be even on both sides than worry about like some combos we're doing 25 sets of and com some combos we're doing 26 sets of. So, all right, I'm gonna do, we're gonna, mosquitoes, I'm gonna do six more sets, but you are only required to do five more. So that's up to you, here we go. Last five or six sets. We're gonna run into the same problem again on the push-ups. So that's one. Two. It is very unlike me to write a workout that would put me in this kind of a predicament. Typically, I would either amend the, uh, the combo so that I didn't have to worry about being uneven, or I would write a workout that included an even, like I would do 20 sets of everything, or 30 sets of everything, or 50 sets of everything instead of 25. Um, but for some reason, I just, it was an oversight today. It is very uncharacteristic of me because uh, I am struggling with this right now. I have no idea. Okay, let's do the third combo. High knees, drop down, roll over, knee hug, roll over again, and continue. So again, we're going back and forth. So I'm gonna end up doing an uneven number. Uh, or uh, yeah, like an uneven, un, you know. I'm gonna be, go this way 13 times and come this way only 12 times. So that's gonna drive me crazy. So I might end up doing 26 sets again. It's more than likely. All right, so 10 high knees. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Drop all the way down to your belly. Roll over. Knee hug. Roll over again. And stand. That's one set. Continuing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the way down to the belly. Roll over. Knee hug. Roll over. And stand. That's two sets. Okay? Continuing on.
hands. I do another four sets, and then that'll be my first 10 sets, and I'll take a little rest break. But right now I wanna push through. So it was my first 10 sets. I just need to rest. Keep the rest break as short as you can, but also take as long as you need. Remember that you have to work to your own level and at your own pace. So if you're working out with me, if you have more stamina than I do and you wanna keep going, keep going. You don't have to pause just because I'm paused. But likewise, if you have less stamina than I do and you need a longer rest break, pause the video and just come back when you're ready. I could continue, but I'm pacing myself for 25 sets and I'm trying to find that balance where I can get through these in the most efficient way possible. So I think for me that take means taking a good minute or two here to rest, <clears throat> breathe a little, let my heart rate come down, regain some strength, and then uh, try to tackle the next set of 10 without stopping. Um, and then take another little rest break before I do the final six. So now I feel like I'm ready to continue. I feel like my heart rate has come down. I'm going to start my next set of 10. I'm gonna try my best to do them all without stopping, okay? If I need to stop, I'll stop, but my goal is to do 10 more sets without stopping if I can. Do your best. All right, so when you're ready, here we go.
So that was 20. Five or six more, depending on your level of mental illness, I guess. If there's any other people out there with OCD like me that are doing this and it's just like scrambling your brain, I'm so sorry. If you don't have any into OCD, you're probably like, why is she making such a big deal out of this? Like, but it's different for some of us. All right, so I'm going to do six more sets. You don't have to do six more, you can do five more. I'm just taking a minute to breathe, bring my heart rate down a little, and I would like to string all six of these together without pausing if I can. Again, just do your best, but regardless, five or six sets to go, and then we're done with this combo. We can move on to our second to last combo, our penultimate combo, if you will. All right, here we go. Six more sets. This is set number 25, so you can stop here if you want. I'm just going to do one more to even it out. are very challenging so uh, I'm tempted to just go with an easier push-up variation maybe just do regular breakdance push-ups but I wrote scorpion so I'm gonna top it out and do scorpion push-ups might take me a minute but okay I'm gonna do my best this is the second to last combo so I'm just gonna get through 25 sets of this I'm gonna keep pushing and get myself through 25 sets, no matter what I have to do to get there. And then I just have one combo left, okay? So, do your best. That's all you can do, okay? Just do your best. All right, 10 kick-ups, one push-up. And again, I'm gonna end up doing 26 of these because I have to even it out, because I'm crazy. All right, well, here goes nothing. <sighs> sooner we start and the sooner they're done. Let's get going. Okay, 10 kickups. <sighs> so now this hand just traveled. 
lift up this foot to start the next set and count one, two, four, five, six, seven, ten. Tuck the foot under, keep it going, but keep this foot. I kind of let my foot go to the side of that. You don't want that. Keep that foot so that you're on your toes and just drop the foot to the side. Push up, reverse the position. That's two. 24 more to go. I'm gonna do them. You're gonna get done. All right, here we go. All these blocks. So now this hand just finished traveling. That means we're gonna lift this foot to start my next set. Here we go. I knew these were gonna take me a minute. And it was gonna take me a long time to get through uh, this combo. I've only completed six reps, but I'm gonna breathe, try to do my next four without stopping, and that'll put me at 10. And then I'll see if I can do that same thing again. I'll see if I can do another six and then another four. So I'm going to just break them up into sets of six, sets, sets of four, if I can. So, you know, eventually we'll get there. So right now I'm just gonna focus on finishing these next four. I'm always going to try to pause on an even number so that it doesn't matter what side I left off on. <sighs> More of my crazy, all right. So let's try to string together another four without stopping. If you can, do your best. to let my neighbors pull out. To slow my breathing down, slow my heart rate down a little. Feel like I have enough strength to move on. 
with the next set of 10, or for me, set of six, I'm gonna to try to do the, a string together six without stopping. And of course, more business with the pants. All right. I don't know if I'll ever feel sufficiently rested to tackle any more of these, but I'm going to continue. So I have completed 10 sets. Um, I'm going to tackle my next set of 10 in the same way I'm going to try to do six, and then I'll take a little rest and then finish up the last four, and that'll get me to 20. Okay, so for right now, one step at a time, I'm gonna focus on these next six reps. Here we go, when you're ready. do two more before I rest. That was six. So, more than halfway there. That was rep number 16 for me on the day. I'm gonna breathe for another minute or so. And then I'm gonna do just four more reps before I take my next break. Because these next four reps will complete my second set of 10. Which is not strong enough to do 10 without stopping, so. I've done six, now let's do the last four. And I'll take another little break. All right, four more reps. Nineteen. One more. That's twenty. It appears as though.
after each 10 sets, I've reached my limit with how far I'm willing to let my pants fall down. So again, I'm up, fixing my pants, but we're not done. We have another five sets left to do if you're doing 25 sets. If you're opting to satisfy that end of the equation with your OCD, or if you don't have OCD, or six reps, if you're opting to satisfy the even end of the equation, or the concept of keeping things even. For the last combo, we don't have to worry about it. We will end up uh, doing an even number of reps on each side after 25 sets because we're doing two double unders per set. So it'll already be even. So we're not there yet. We have to finish up this combo. You guys, this has been a slog, I know, but I have to say this combo is actually not taking quite as long as I thought it would. I thought I was just going to be out here for like an hour doing this one combo. Not that bad. So let's go ahead and finish it up. Another five or six sets. I'll be doing six. So here we go. Those four. I'm gonna do two more. one if you want. If not, you can just watch me and laugh. I start the workout and I'm like dying as it warms up and 
as I, you know, my heart rate is elevated. I'm dying in these pants. Plus they don't stay on. It's all good. All right, final combo. So remember we're double counting our mountain climbers. 10 mountain climbers or 20 if you count each step as one rep. And then duck under, side kick, duck under, side kick. That's one set, we're doing 25 sets. So, home stretch. All right, when you're ready, here we go. Hands down, one foot stays forward, one foot stays back, and we're gonna jump and switch the feet. Counting each two steps is one rep. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step that back foot in and stamp. Feet together. Now ducking under our Mount Harry obstacle, pushing the booty back, keeping the weight of the heels. Duck low. Side kick back in the direction you came. And now duck under, heading back to the other side of your mat. Feet together, side kick, that's one set. We're doing 25, okay? I'm counting that as my first set. So this is set number two for me, here we go. five sets. So again, I don't necessarily need to rest here. Like I could keep going, but I'm pacing myself to do 25 sets. I want to do it in the most efficient way possible. So I think for me, that means breaking it up into five sets of five and taking a short rest break, 20 to 40 seconds in between sets. Um, hopefully, hopefully keeping rest breaks under a minute. But to me, that's probably going to be the most efficient way to get it done. So I'm gonna start my second set of five. When you're ready, here we go. Go at your own pace. But I'm gonna start now, another set of five. Here we go. Or another group of five sets.
I'm pretty sure that was five. I hope. So that means I've completed a total of 10 sets so far. So I have another 15 to go. And I'm gonna break them up, continue breaking them up, breaking them down into uh, groups of five. So again, I'm giving myself another, I don't know, 40 second rest or so. I'm not checking because in my mind I'm keeping it under a minute and it's probably over a minute, but just resting until I feel that um, my heart rate has come down enough and my breathing has slowed enough that I'm ready to tackle another group of five. So here we go. When you're ready. Thirteen. So again, rest break if you need to. If you don't need to rest, keep going. Try to keep it as short as you can. But take as long as you need. You're not going to do yourself any good by trying to continue before you're ready, before your body is physically able. So. Yeah, you want to keep it moving, but that's different for everybody. So I'm always reminding you to work at your own pace because when I'm ready, just because I'm ready, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be ready. Okay? So make the decision that's best for you. I'm going to tackle my next set of, or my next group of five sets. Here we go. Eight, 
18. So one last little break. I just have five sets left to go. You guys, I know that it's a ridiculous amount of mountain climbers. I know mountain climbers suck. I'm doing them with you. So I know they suck. But we're almost done. We have only five sets left, okay? Oh. All right, I am gonna go for it. I want to rest longer, but I do feel like I have another five in me, so I'm going to continue on and get these last five sets out of the way. Just two more left, we're almost done. Just repeating the cycle. The duck under was fine. Oh, okay, last one. Done. Okay, so that last drop, I was all wobbly because I'm fatigued and I let my, I was all excited because like the final two reps, and I let my momentum kind of carry me too far so that um, I wasn't balanced and ready to do my side kick. So even when you're fatigued, it's harder when you're fatigued, obviously, but just a reminder, always be focused on the movement, not looking forward, but focused on what's right in front of you. So focus on the movement, make sure each rep has integrity and that you're controlling every aspect of the movement. It's really important. Okay, so let me watch it. Just put it right here. I'll use it for my bonus burpee. Um, if you follow my workouts regularly, you know that I'm constantly having to pause and wait for planes to fly overhead. So, one second. 
you also know that no workout of mine is ever complete until we have done our bonus burpee. So we have just one rep left. Let's do our bonus burpee together and then the workout will be officially complete. Final rep of the day, here we go. And with that final rep, the workout is now officially complete. I will wrap this up quickly since this is another long workout. I'm sorry, the workouts have been so long lately. I used to really kind of do almost exclusively like short workouts, like 20 minutes and under. But for whatever reason, lately I've just been wanting longer workouts. And when I do a workout that's 30 minutes or less, I'm typically adding on at least another 30 minutes of cardio afterwards because I'm just wanting to do more. So this is just kind of what I'm, my body's wanting right now. But if the workouts have been a little too long for you lately, um, keep in mind that I have several playlists um, featuring workouts of different lengths. I have a workout of, play, of a, a, a playlist of workouts that are only five minutes long. I have 10 minutes, 12 minutes, um, 15 and 16 minutes, 18 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So. If you're not looking to work out for an hour or more with me every day, totally understandable. But just keep in mind that those other playlists are there. So if this workout wasn't for you, I guarantee you that there's something in one of those playlists that is for you. And I take requests. So if there's anything that you're wanting to see, um, please ask. I enjoy the challenge of um, creating workouts around what people are requesting. So I'm always happy to do that if there's something specific that you want to see or um, something specific that you would like incorporated into a workout or, you know, shorter, more intense workouts, or if you like the longer workouts and you want to see more of those, just let me know. But either way, thank you to everyone who has been working out with me lately. I appreciate it more than you know. And whether you're working out with me, working out along with the video or watching me do the workout and then going and doing it on your own, or if you're just watching me do it and not doing the workout, regardless, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the views. Thank you um, to everyone who's been subscribing to my channel lately. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and thank you for um, everyone who's been liking the videos and sharing them and commenting on them. Um, and especially to those of you who have been commenting with the secret code phrase of the day. So before I wrap this up, I will give you today's secret code phrase of the day. It is, it's a long one, ready? Get ready. Here's the secret code phrase of the day. I wouldn't laugh Miss Milk Through Her Nose on Parents Day twice. Got it? That's the secret code phrase of the day. I wouldn't laugh Miss Milk Through Her Nose on Parents Day twice. So if you are still watching this video, please let me know that someone is still watching by going down to the comment section and leaving me a comment that says, I wouldn't laugh Miss Milk Through Her Nose on Parents Day twice. Um, if you did this workout with me today, thank you very much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. That is it for today and I will see you all next time. Bye.